Hey, it's Matt here at 911R, and there has been some comments and stuff about the preservation of this car. So I want to kind of go through and show uh, some of the spots underneath. There's questions about rust. You know, when I think of rust, I think of rust as, as rust that has holes through it, that's actually cancerous, um, not surface rust. I mean, any, you can look at a new American car nowadays that's a couple years old, it'll have surface rust on it, all the stuff, we don't treat things like we used to. But, so let's look at this car. So look up here and put a camera up here. Um, you know, some of this stuff here looks like it could be, um, you know, when you look at the photos, it looks rusty. But if we take a brush to it, you know, this is just very solid metal, you know, and we take a little scribe, you know, it's, it's super solid, real metal. It just has the undercoating to come off. So it came uh, oxidized. And there's spots around the car like this um, that, you know, have that. And again, you know, if it's just a little brushwork, it comes right off and it can be treated. I'm gonna go through and uh, we'll, we'll see some of the spots like this um, and treat some of this stuff and seal it up so it'll be well preserved. But you know, there's no rust, there's no structural rust, there's no damage to any panels that isn't just a light uh, cleanup, um, possible respray. Again, this car has been a preservation and we wanted to keep it as original as possible. Um, and you know, to, to do that is you know just what we've done. Only thing that's been done to the underside of this car was that it was power washed off, and that was it. Now all the suspension and shocks and brakes and brake lines and fuel tank and all that stuff has been uh, restored and all, all redone. It's all the original parts, and like I said, and I noted in other things, the Coney shocks were sent out to Coney. The original Coney's date coded Coney's were sent out and rebuilt. Um, the calipers were, went to P&B and they rebuilt all the calipers on it. You know, the master center was rebuilt. Everything was just rebuilt on it. We put a new gas tank in the car because the original one was pretty rusted and, and what I've seen all of the places that restore them, they cut a big hole in them, they look terrible. So we, and it was best, you know, just put a new gas tank in it. The, the old gas tank comes with the car if somebody wanted to, to save it. But, you know, this is a replacement gas tank. It was really the best thing at the time. It's coming back. You know, I'll, one, another thing I want to bring up, you know, this car had the white vest as gas heater and the little section right here has deteriorated as a little kind of corrugated metal. Never seen this before. But honestly, the little muffler in the exhaust pipe, to see that is really rare. Most all of these have just disintegrated. So pretty neat to see that. This was on the car when we originally got it, but you know, with the car moving around stuff, it deteriorated and, and fell apart. But um, coming back to the back, it has SSI heat exchangers on it. We replaced the stock heat exchangers because they were you know, just tired and uh, and not in great shape, and then replaced the muffler. It was all brand new stuff in 2020 when we did it. It was really the best stuff you can get. SSI heat exchangers are are a fabulous uh, product um, in the dance muffler. We did replace the the exhaust tip with a square tipped um, um, chrome tip from the earlier photos. So this is the correct one now. Um, this is a really excellent reproduction. But again, going back to the stuff that's replaced on the car, heat exchangers, muffler, the exhaust tip, um, gas tank. Um, really, that's it. So um, everything else was the original parts, restored and redone. Um, so we're gonna go through and touch up some of this uh, surface rust or surface oxidation. And then uh, uh, we'll do another video showing what it looks like afterwards. Thank you.